Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to make your PC more environmentally friendly. I want to make this video because I love gaming and I love computers. I also love the environment and want to help it be the best that I can be. So first thing we're going to talk about is turning off your monitors when not in use and turning off your computers. Personally, I always forget to turn off my monitor, which wastes power and hurts the environment. Ways you can tell if your computer is still on is by the sound of the fans. Usually you can hear the fans if you're quiet enough and if your fans are still running, just turn it off. A monitor is a different story. I never really know if my monitor is off or on. Some monitors will have a no input screen, but if yours doesn't, then check the bottom right hand corner and there should be a little light that can signify if it's on or off. Now how does this help the environment? It helps because power plants will release toxic fumes into the environment, so the less toxic fumes, the better for the earth. Next thing we're going to talk about is getting used over getting new and reusing. Now most computer products contain such things as lead, mercury, beryllium, and candium. And if these products are released into the air and water, it can pollute the air and water, hurting the marine wildlife and hurting you. Now, if you wanted to reuse your parts, I buy used parts from Amazon or eBay. It can really help out both your build because you could get better parts for less and it can help out the environment. A huge waste of power and a thing I want to talk about is a mining rig for Bitcoin. A mining rig can have a ton of graphics cards, a ton of power supplies and fans that all hurt the environment by adding more toxic fume from power plants. These things are on 24-7. I've seen videos where there has been rooms filled head to toe with mining rigs and it damages the environment so much from the toxic fumes. Next, we're going to talk about certain parts that can help you conserve and save power. First thing is using an SSD over a hard drive. A hard drive uses a ton of power compared to the fraction of power an SSD uses, and an SSD brings better performance to your build. Second thing is your motherboard. A motherboard is absolutely essential to your PC, and you need it. Motherboards like the MSI Ecoline let you disable the unused feature on your PC to save power. Third, you should get a power supply, more wattage than you need, around 150 watts. So for example, I have a 650 watt power supply. Now, if I would have known this at the time of getting my build, I would have probably bought a 750 watt power supply just so I could um, you know, help my power supply reach 90% efficiency and in the future, because I'm obviously going to buy new parts for my PC, I can still probably have a mu as much as the watts I need to make my computer run. Now, last thing I'm going to talk about for computer parts is fans. Yes, LED fans look so cool when they're all in sync in color and all spinning in the same direction. You don't need it. You can of course get these, but don't get 9 or 8 fans. It wastes so much power. Just get enough fans to make your graphics card, CPU, and motherboard cool and not overheat. All these parts are a way to reduce the amount of used power. There's a study in the UK that reported that more than half of the UK's energy came from burning fossil fuels. The study also found that gaming PCs only accounted for 2.5 of the personal computers but used up 20% of the global energy consumption. Burning fossil fuels release carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases which trap heat in the atmosphere and, the and making more climate change. So what does that really mean? That means that basically that all gaming PCs is in 2.5% of the personal usage, but in t global energy consumption, it's only 20%. Now that's that's not very good numbers in my opinion. Uh, you know, we all just need to turn off our electronics when we're done with it. But I'm just gonna get in a little more about this. And yeah, lastly, I'm gonna compare my PC to the Pro Valorant players. PC 10s. 10s easily has the better PC. The difference between mine and 10s though is mine is better for the environment compared to 10s. I did a watt calculator and 10s PC is at 609 watts before the other items could stop showing how many watts. That was barely half the parts. I'm not bashing 10s, 10s are his PC at all. I love 10s, he's my favorite current streamer. You do not need what 10s has depending on your budget. Do what I told you for parts and save power and save the environment. He is also a streamer, so he, what he has is what he needs. What I have is what I need. But, you know, Tense, like, obviously he streams a ton. And, you know, streaming can lead to overheating your PC. So he needs the type of fans. He needs the more power. He needs the best of the best to make his stream good quality, to make his games good quality. So, yeah. And, you know, just overall, these are just some ways you can save power and keep your gaming PC or your PC used for work, school, or everyday life to be environmentally friendly. Thank you for watching.